Well, winter is supposed to be all about skiing, snowmobiling, ice fishing, but what do you do when the weather is just too warm? Well, Mills Hayes is live on the U.S.-Canada border in Minnesota. So, Mills, how are the businesses there handling a lack of snow and ice? Hey, Don and Scott. Well, they are just having to adjust. Uh, many people from all across the country come to the Midwest to experience winter at resorts or hotels. But resorts like this one here in Minnesota, they are not able to open up their cross-country skiing or snowmobile trails, all because there's just not enough snow this year. It's chilly and windy as Minnesotan Tara Mueller drives a mile out from the shore. She rented this ice fishing shelter with her friend and boyfriend. He and I spend most of the winters ice fishing, so. You may notice they're the only people for miles. The ice isn't thick enough to open the Leech Lake Ice Road to public vehicles yet. Our fish houses are a lot lighter than most of the manufactured ones nowadays, so we're able to get them out on a little bit thinner ice. This time of year, it should be a heck of a lot more busy than it is. Last year, four to 500 people used their ice road over the New Year's weekend. This year, zero. It's not just us that are suffering. It's the grocery stores, it's the liquor stores, it's the bars. At Gunflint Lodge, they finally opened up skating last week. It's a little bit rough right here. The, you know, the resorts um, up here are pivoting from you know, cross-country skiing to sn and snowmobiling and focusing on you know, skating and clearing paths on the ice for skating and kind of using what we do have. With the warmer temperatures, they were able to get out hiking. The families are, are really resilient and, and will we'll adjust to whatever we've got. It's not just Minnesota. Other cities across the country saw their warmest Decembers on record, too. And the climate scientist I spoke with tells me that we are seeing these warmer weather temperatures in the U.S. because of two reasons. One, there's climate change. And two, because of an El Nino weather pattern that pushes up hot weather from the equator into the U.S. And here in the Midwest, Chicago included, we are hit the hardest because there we're landlocked and there is no colder air coming from the coast or ocean. In Grand Marais, Minnesota Mills Hayes, Fox 32, Chicago.